Hi, we're BFOL, Brother Fans of LEGO, here today with LEGO set number 76124. This set is labeled as the War Machine Buster and is from the new Avengers Endgame line of sets. This set has an Outrider on the left, and then in the middle, a General Outrider, and then on the right, Ant-Man with interchangeable head hairpiece and new helmet mold. Plus, also, should have been on the very far right, War Machine in the Quantum Realm suit, but instead I just put him into the War Machine Buster. This set comes with a pretty thick instruction manual that labels over 59 pages. Product feedback is the Pirate, and it is a very good manual. When I first seen this, I'm like, wow, that's a big page of parts, and it really is. It's a really, really big page of parts. All right, I recently done a haul video and an unboxing. Well, not so much a haul as an unboxing, but an unboxing video of this War Machine Buster. So be sure to check it out on our unboxing videos playlist. Also, um, this honestly really didn't show up in Avengers Endgame. I went and seen it actually the day I did the unboxing. I actually went to the Lego store and got this set to use, and I didn't even know I was going to go see Endgame until my dad told me, you're going to go see Endgame today, and I'm like, Yahoo! And then I'm like, I can't wait to see War Machine Buster, and I was so disappointed because it didn't really show up. It was just really War Machine and a type of Mark 38 Igor from the Hall of Armor Endgame set. It wasn't as big as this, but then it wasn't as tiny as Igor. It's kind of a half seas. Think about the size of the height of War Machine's leg there. About that high. And but it had the same old standardized helmet. Honestly, I think that it's right there on the box. It kind of looks like it right there where it shows War Machine and then Ant-Man, Iron Man, and Captain Marvel. Alright. Getting into this awesome set. I still like it. Even if it didn't show up in the movie, I'm not upset. I really still like this set. It's an, a nice set to have, like your own War Machine Hulkbuster, basically. Just trying to clear off a little bit of space here. The Coruscant Planet is on the move. Just got to move a few extra things. There we go. Man, like in this area here, and it's all really cluttered, so I'm trying to clean it out. There we go. All right. Getting into this awesome set. First, we have an Outrider who's not really new. Um, you can get them in basically every set but the Ultimate Quinjet, and every set in Infinity War but the Big Milano and the Sanctum. When you're done collecting all these sets, you'll have about 12 Outriders in total, and that's of a good sized army. We currently have nine of the twelve, so we need the Hall of Armor set and the Compound Battle, and we can have every Outrider that they've ever made. We did really good, and we collected every single Infinity War set. We're trying to do the same thing with Endgame, but it's going to take us a while. We have the Captain America, the Outrider's Attack set, War Machine Buster, and the Iron Man and Dummy Poly Bag, all which have now been reviewed. I'm saving up for the Compound and bros saving up for the Hall of Armor. And when we're done with those two, we might save up for the Ultimate Quinjet, which will take us a while, because it's big, very, very big, extremely big. So, getting into this awesome review. Here we have an Outrider, and he's got his mouth open, and he's very angry, and he's got this new four-armed pack. I'm not gonna remove the back print since you can see it on the general Outrider. He has golden claws and a new pauldron piece. Then you have Ant-Man in his Quantum Realm suit, who I think looks the best in the Quantum Realm suit. He's got a new helmet, and I still don't think that that head suits him because he has stubble and everything. Then he has a very, <gasps> and there's back print for the Quantum suit, and then you have interchangeable head, hair piece, all right, then you have the War Machine Buster itself. When building this, it actually is very sturdy and very good, and wow, a lot of pieces. It has toes that can come apart like that, and uses 11 gunmetal gray ingot pieces. Wow, 
It also has the new printed headgear for War Machine, but it, the print is kind of a little that way. Um, these stud shooters here are actually for War Machine himself. They're just there. He's got a hand that can hold figure, but they got different rotation. They will rotate like that. Then you have this area that goes up and down. I mean, there's some really good articulation and some new pieces and things and silver ingots as well as gunmetal gray. Then he has this flick missile assembly where you flick them and they'll shoot off. And it says the Mark 4.5 for War Machine. He's got his star symbol. And the last sticker says James Rhodes, which is his real name. Both of the hands can do the same point of articulation. The back of him is good. And then, like the actual War Machine himself, he has this giant gabbling gun feature that has one of the rapid shooters that when you turn it, it'll... I'm just going to shoot off two of them because I don't want to have to reload all of them. And then you can open up the cockpit, fold down this, there he is himself. And in the back there is something new, some eight studs of extra ammo. And then there's War Machine himself with a new printed visor piece. Um, the head is the same as that minifigure collection, which has been reviewed. And then he has a very smiling, happy face. Back print, I already showed that to you on the Quantum Realm Ant-Man. That's basically it. Just wanted to show you the awesome War Machine Buster Lego set. Bye for now, and be sure to subscribe to Waffle Brother Fans of Lego, and be sure to check out this awesome set. Oh, wait, I forgot the um, info. info. Availability, you can get it at any place that sells... Um, End game sets. Um, recommended, definitely. I really like this one, probably better than the one from Infinity War and the one from Age of Ultron. This is probably my favorite. Anyway, this set costs around $30, $35 in the US, 362 pieces, and is awesome. Bye for now, be sure to subscribe to Baffle Brother Fans of Lego, and be sure to check out the unboxing video. Bye.